Muslim. We so easily claim the name in our testification of one God, Muhammad his prophet. Ironic that words make us Muslim, but can't make us believers. We must be achievers, actors, doers, choosers. Between right and wrong, it takes the strong. Easier said, but harder to be done. Like if you were in the streets of Kufa, just one, alone. While the men who said they would support Hussein submitted to a tyrant's throne. Flash forward to your day, thousands of starving Ali al Asghar's shown in Yemen before the eyes of the world who can't claim they didn't know. Through flashing images on our phones, planes, drones, equipped with US and UK rockets thrown, take the form of a three pronged arrow spit out through a Saudi bow, Boeing F 15 Eagle, Karbala the sequel. And if you support the force of a single Palestinian stone, you must fear that you will be known as a terrorist, anarchist, disturber of the peace for standing against the approved version of the facts, a reminder of Ibn Ziyad, who called the pure son of the Prophet a destroyer of the pact of the ruling class. For to them, even a word of truth to their falsehood is taken as an attack. Some claim that the story of Karbala is antiquated, outdated, unrelated to today. But if you stand with the oppressed, you will be outcasted by the astray. And like the son of Aqil in Kufa streets, lonely and betrayed, today, if you claim you are a Muslim, remember the son of Aqil. And if you are not willing to give everything you have in God's way, being Muslim is only a claim. But the one alone in Kufa was in action, like he was in name. Muslim, the son of Aqil, the ambassador of Imam al-Hussein.